Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian Famous and please if you're new to the channel make sure you click like and of course the subscribe right now. Let's just do a quick recap of the uh Benavides versus Dimitris Andrade um fight, you know Benavides knocked out Dimitris Andrade um I think in the seventh round and knocked him down in the fourth round. It was no doubt a phenomenal fight. Um <clears throat> and Benavides is a monster. He called out Carlo Alvarez again and said, Listen, if Carlo doesn't want to fight him, he would definitely uh venture into um uh, uh the Bivol fight. Now let's get to the main topic, which is the former two-time unified heavyweight champion of the universe, Anthony Joshua, going back to his old self. Joshua is beginning to show me that what he did before was that he that he he missed it. Joshua missed being the whole Joshua, and I, I believe you me, December twenty-third is getting very near. Okay. We are less than a month to go, okay? And it is going to be very interesting to see how Joshua approached this Otto Wallin fight. Of course, we know that there are other fighters on the card, the likes of Daniel Dubois versus Jerry Big, Pharmacist Miller, uh, Deontay the Bronze, Bumba Water going against a former WBO heavyweight champ in uh, Joseph Parker. We have Mahmoudov as well. And um, lots of other fights. Uh, we also have Bivol on the card. Bro, the event is going to be wide. And the zone, I've been told the zone is said to be the uh, the broadcaster of, the, of that event worldwide. Worldwide. So, if Frank Warren put it all together, Frank Warren and Eddie Hearn and other promoters put it all together, I would have expected at least in the UK for... TNT to have the the pay-per-view right to add the Joshua um, or to Wallin fight, but Dizon got it. Dizon is a Russian uh, Russian owned uh, uh, um, entertainment um, live uh, online streaming uh, company. So basically, you you do know that those Russians they do have a little catch, you know. Now going back on Joshua. I saw a clip of him training with uh, Ben Davison. Ben Davison is going to be the main uh, trainer for this fight against Otto Wallen. And uh, afterwards, I think he will still be doing things with Derek James. I don't know how that will work, like to have two trainers. But Ben Davison has been, uh, he played a key uh, role in bringing Tassiviri back to his old self, okay? Um, he got Tassiviri in shape and he did well with Tassiviri. Like, it's, of course, the dad complained about it then and saying Tassiviri, like, listen, Tassiviri is too tentative and he needs to, like, uh, be more aggressive and stuff like that. So Tassiviri then uh, dumped Ben Davison, you know, and choose the... Um, or uh, Sugar Ray Stewart, you know, and uh, what happened was Stewart, um, the younger brother of uh, Imana Stewart, definitely like um, the crunk style of boxing changed. It's uh, changed a series um, uh, defense first approach into an attack first approach, which worked against the the Wilder. We know that twice. Um, he beat water twice, you know, stopping him. Now, just listen to the sound of Joshua's punch. The power he generates in his right hand is scary. 
And Father, I'm saying like this guy is back to the old Joshua. Joshua is going back to his old self. The old Joshua was much better than the new Joshua. He's much better than the new Joshua because the old Joshua, despite getting hit, he took it and he didn't show it. He came back and stopped you. He will always like, he will always find something. He never gives up. The old Joshua was just like all gone blazing. Of course. You don't want to fight like that all your life because uh, at the end of the day, you know, like the more damage you take in boxing, the more devastating it, it would be for you in the future. It's just normal, right? But let's listen to it right here. Listen to the sound. Okay, you're watching the video, but listen to the sound of the voice. <laughs> So you heard that right here. You heard it. Bruv, I don't know. Otto Wallen is in big trouble. I will tell you right now. The reason being the whole Joshua, if the whole Joshua, you know, fights Otto Wallen, it is going to be a devastating knockout. Like he will be totally annihilated. It will be a demolition job but the the tricky thing about Otto Wallen is that he is a southpaw Joshua is not um I don't know he doesn't I don't know southpaw gives Joshua problems you know because of the hangles and with the throw on their punches and stuff like that but Joshua apart all that and uh all that Usyk you know Joshua I mean, Musik is a tricky guy. Otto Wallen is not a ski for us, Musik. But he does have a style that would, um, would give you some problems. Okay. We saw what he did against Tyson Fury. He is the conqueror of Tyson Fury. I call him the conqueror of Tyson Fury because he's the first guy to bust Fury up. The first guy, first fighter to ever bust Fury up was Otto, the Swedish Viking Wallen. Okay. Of course, Joshua and um, and Wallen fought as an amateur before, but still, you look at it and say, "Ah, uh, how can things uh, change?" You know, how can Joshua? What did Joshua need to do to beat the street guy? So, apart from um, Olazan Usyk. The trickiest fighter or boxer that Joshua um, would uh, be fighting will fight next this Otto Wallen. Okay, let's keep it right here. Otto Wallen is the second trickiest boxer Joshua will fight. He has some tools that, you know, that other fighters that Joshua fought before didn't that I did not possess okay we can say uh, Klitschko Klitschko is a legend no doubt about it but Klitschko was not in his prime um, it was, he was at the point of retirement when Joshua fought it but the Klitschko that Joshua fought the version of Klitschko that Joshua fought would have beaten Tyson Fury fact you know because the, the version that fought uh, Fury was not even um ready or anything like that he didn't even want they didn't really he was not motivated he thought he was gonna get fear out of there or beat him on point but fear ended up winning now i'm very happy to see this fashion under joshua the whole fashion coming back that makes it very interesting because otto wally has got to be ready and um yeah i'm so much looking forward to this we will definitely be live for that we will definitely talk more analyze this fight because I have been, um, uh, Otto Wallen has been very, has been very, has been very quiet on social media. Like he doesn't post a lot, and it tends to be training in silence. People like that are very tricky. So I just hope Joshua does not underestimate Otto Wallen or think because oh, I beat him as a mature, I can do it now. No, but in order for Joshua to beat Otto Wallen, he has to beat him soundly. He has to bring that whole self back. 
and what I'm seeing right now is Brooklyn and back. Anybody that meets under uh, Joshua is in trouble. Facts. Beat Fury, beat Water, beat even Uzik himself. The whole Joshua ha- didn't give a f about anybody. So I'm happy to say this. So guy, what do you make of this? Give it a below, like, video, subscribe. God bless you for the support, support the channel. And of course, I know I've been a little bit active, but we'll definitely be back, and we are getting back step by step. God bless you. Hey. Hey.